We start tonight with a woman in Kay County thanking some quick acting police officers in the town of Tonkawa. She says they could have very possibly saved her daughter's life. As News 4's Spencer Humphrey sat down with her in an interview you'll only see here on News 4. Police here in Tonkawa say it was all thanks to some watchful neighbors here who saw something in this alley they didn't think was quite right. I just can't imagine what would have happened if the police wouldn't have taken it so serious. It all started around 7 o'clock Saturday evening when Tonkawa police got a call about a suspicious car sitting in an alley behind someone's house for several hours. That alleyway is really only utilized for utility and, tra and trash services. So it's highly peculiar for it to be parked there for so long and the vehicle was running. Police Chief Nick Payne says the caller walked out to confront whoever was in that car. As soon as that happened, he says the car sped off. But officers got more calls from people who saw the car driving recklessly through town. And with the help of the Kay County Sheriff's Office, they eventually tracked that car down to another spot in town. Inside, they found 23-year-old Aaron Amador in the driver's seat, wearing nothing but his underwear in the passenger seat. A 13-year-old girl police say he'd met online. Also in the car, marijuana and alcohol. He had tried to give every uh, excuse under the sun. No excuse good enough for Chance Roberts. She's that girl's mom. Oh, I'm still processing the whole entire situation. She says her daughter told her she was going to the park with her cousins. Her daughter doesn't even have a cell phone or social media. She was getting her friend's phones. Logging on that way. Saturday evening felt like a nightmare come true. A nightmare cut short by officers she cannot think enough. I don't even know if I could put into words how much I appreciate them and how much like what they did mm -hmm. and what they couldn't what they most police wouldn't have done. I mean they possibly could have saved my daughter's lives. Deputies arrested Amador for an outstanding warrant he had for assault and battery. He is also now facing charges of lewd acts and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Here's what's happening now. He's currently being held in the Kay County Jail on a $1 million bond.